Hi everyone, my name is Nechama. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a topo surface for model lines in Revit. And we're going to do it using the environment plugin. For those of you who don't know the environment plugin, it's a plugin that was created especially for landscape architects or other site planning designers. And the purpose is basically to help you avoid all these repetitive actions in Revit and to make the design and modeling process more efficient and more fluent. So without further ado, let's begin. What you can see here is a sketch of a road and a park next to it, and I did it using um, detail lines and model lines. My contour lines are made of model lines, and as you can see over here, they have an accurate elevation in 3D as well. And if you don't know how to do it, you're more than welcome to see my tutorial about applying elevations to model lines in Revit. Now, to create a topo surface from it, it's very simple. All we have to do is to simply select all the relevant uh, model lines. And once we selected them, we go to Environment tab, to the Site panel. Now remember, this command works in 3D view or in plan view, whatever you want. I'm going to do it in 3D view right now because it's more comfortable. So go to Environment tab, Site panel, and just hit Create Surface. And there you go. We have the perfect topo surface, just the way we wanted it, in the correct elevation. Another part of this command, if you hit on the side panel here in the environment plugin, if you hit this little drop down arrow, you can see we have the option to add to surface. Of course, we're going to add parts to the surface using model lines. I want to demonstrate a few options of how to use this um, part of the command. So let's say I'm going to hide this. Uh, sidewalk for now. Let's say I don't have it and I want to create it using the topo surface. So I simply have to select all the relevant lines again and select the topo surface that I want to add it to. Add the, the topo surface to. Now let's go to plan view just to see how it works in plan view. And so I chose both of them. I go again to environment tab and hit the drop down arrow on the create surface and just click add to surface and let the computer calculate. And there you go. Now it looks twisted because we have a 25 centimeters difference between these lines and these lines. So I'm just going to cancel this one. And now let's say something about this part of the command. Add to surface only works on surfaces that were created in Revit and that you can edit them in Revit. So for example, if you have a topo surface that was created in AutoCAD Civil and it's in your uh, file as a link, you can't edit it, so you cannot add um, another part to it. Another example, let's say I took this surface and I split it into two surfaces. So. In Revit, once you split a surface, you can only edit it within the limits. So let's say right now I select this line and I select this part of the surface and I want to add the line into it. So it will be a problem. So what I have to do is I have to make sure that this line is within the borders of my topo surface. Let's do it again. Go to Environment, Site, Add to Surface. So I have one point over here that is outside. Now let's do it again. Select the line, select the topo surface, go to Environment, Site, and hit Add to Surface. And now it works. Let's see another example. I have here a topo surface that I imported using a CSV file, so it's basically an existing topo surface of a site that I'm working on. And again, if you don't know how to do that, we have, of course, a tutorial for that. 
Now let's say I just want to add, I want to edit this topo surface and I want to add um, another uh, model line over here. So before you do that on existing topo surface or some topo surface, you have to do edit surface because if you have all these elevation points over here, it will disturb my uh, elevation line from being correct. So let's me, let me show you really quickly how do I do it. So first of all, I'm going to select all these elevation points over here that are going to be in my way when I try to create my line. Let's say this one and delete. And yes. Okay. Now I'm just going to go create this model line over here. And let's say I want it to be in an elevation of 65.25. Enter. I'm just going to set elevation to this one. And now I simply do the same action. I select my line. I select my topo surface and I go add to surface. And there you go. So that's how I changed an existing um, topo surface using a model line. This is it for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and you're more than welcome to try the environment plugin for free in our website arcintelligence.com. That's arcintelligence.com. Thank you very much.